copying an angle. So to copy angle ABC, we first have to decide where we're going to start the second angle. So we'll draw another line segment and label it QR. Then we'll take the compass and draw two arcs on our original angle across BC and BA. Then using the same distance of the compass, place the tip on point Q and make a large arc across the new line segment. Then using the compass again, measure the distance between these two intersections. Then transfer that distance, place the tip of the compass on this intersection, and draw an arc that intersects the first arc. This point of intersection can be labeled point S. Then using the straight edge, connect points Q and S to form an angle identical to the original angle. Bisecting an angle. To bisect angle ABC, or in other words, to divide the angle in two, we first place the tip of the compass on point B. Then make two small arcs intersecting line segment BC and the other intersecting line AB of the same length. Then place the tip of the compass on one of the intersections and make another small arc on the interior of the angle. And repeat the same process with the same length on the other intersection. The point of intersection between these two arcs can be labeled point D. Then by connecting points B and D, we can bisect angle ABC. Constructing a 30 degree angle. So we'll first draw a line segment at the bottom of the page as one leg of the angle. We'll label it PQ. Then, we'll place the tip of the compass on point P and make a large arc like this. Then label the intersection of the arc and the line segment point S. Then place the tip of the compass on point S and using the same angle measure draw another large arc like this and label this point of intersection point T. Then again using the same length on the compass, place the tip on point T and draw a small arc here and label this point point R. Then using the straight edge, connect points P and R to form a 30 degree angle. Constructing a 45 degree angle. So we'll start with line segment AB. And to make a 45 degree angle out of this, we first have to construct a perpendicular bisector. To do this, place the tip of the compass on point A and make two large arcs through the line segment from point A and from point B. 
then connect these two intersections to form the perpendicular bisector. Place the tip of the compass on the center of the line segment and measure the distance between the center and point A. Then move the compass to this line and draw an arc intersecting the line. And label this point C. Then using the straight edge we can connect points A and C to form a 45 degree angle. A quick and simple construction is constructing a 60 degree angle starting with line segment AB. So first we will take the tip of the compass and place it on point A and make a large arc through the line segment. Then using the same distance of the compass, we will place the tip of the compass on the intersection of the arc and the line segment and draw another arc intersecting the first arc. We can label this point of intersection point C. Then using the straight edge, we can connect points A and C to form a 60 degree angle. Constructing a 90 degree angle. This is the same construction as constructing a perpendicular to an endpoint on a ray in the previous video. But nonetheless, to construct a 90 degree angle with one leg being line segment AB, we will first pick a point not on the line and call it point C. Then place the tip of the compass on point C and measure the distance between C and A. Then draw a large arc through point A and the line segment. Then using the straight edge, we can connect points C with this intersection all the way to the other end of the arc. Then we can label this point point D. Then using the straight edge, we can connect points A and D to form a 90 degree angle. Other angles can also be created, such as the 75, 105, 120, 135, and 150 degree angles. There aren't conventional methods of constructing these by themselves, but we can add up the earlier constructions to make some of these angles. To make a 75 degree angle, you can add first a 30 degree angle to a 45 degree angle. To form a 105 degree angle, construct a 45 degree angle and add it to a 60 degree angle, and so on for the other three. So as an example, I'll construct a 120 degree angle. To construct the 120 degree angle, first construct a 60 degree angle. To do this, place the tip of the compass on point A and draw an arc through the line segment. Then place the tip of the compass on this intersection and using the same compass distance, draw an intersecting arc. Then label this point, point C. And connect points A and C using the straight edge. This is a 60 degree angle, and to form a 120 degree angle, we can simply construct another angle from this line segment, AC. To do this, we will repeat the same process 
by first extending this arc and placing the compass on point C, drawing an arc of the same distance that intersects the first arc. Then we can label this point, point D, and connect points A and D to form another 60 degree angle. So together, angle DAB forms a 120 degree angle.